Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Trapper J Outdoors is sponsored by Dude Traps, Wildlife Management Equipment, and Dunlap Lures, Results Matter. What's up, everyone? Looky what I'm doing. Trapping time. Sweet corn field, got a call. I'm at Coyote Creek. Coons are destroying this sweet corn field. So, I got a few dog beers, so I'll show you in a second. Um, didn't bring the tripod. I just basically did a set. I'll show you guys a remake on a catch. Uh, I'll check early in the morning tomorrow, so I'll show you what I got going on. Got a dog proof here. Big marshmallow and some coon glow. I'll show you the bottle here in a second. Here's a cornfield. I'm on the back end here. Uh, the key to this is try not to put it to where the raccoon will make more damage after the catch. So I got the chain stretched. The dog proof is there on the trail that comes in, hopefully. I'm trying to cover like all the points coming in. Down here on this end, this one here has not been painted yet. It's kind of a rusty brown. I'm going to walk all the way down to this other end here. I kind of gang set at the other end because it's got more damage. And I only brought a few traps. To, I wanted to see what it looked like out here. But he's got a pumpkin patch here, so I can't really set along here. Like, I could probably put one here, maybe. I just don't want him to be able to tear up. I can't put them, the traps somewhere where they can mess up with the pumpkins. You know, once they're caught. But they're, they're not really doing anything on the outside. You can see a little bit of damage there. See the pumpkins coming across here or watermelons whatever it is okay down here I got a dog proof a dog proof another dog proof And I'm on the side here. I got a dog roof here. Now, if you come in here, corn down, corn's down, lots of corn down, dog proof right here in the center. And the corn is just down all through here. I don't know how well it's going to show up in the, the video here, but they have destroyed this corn. They're, they're, they're setting in here and helping themselves. So, tomorrow I will probably bring a few more and put in here in places where there's art, like no ears. So, where it, I mean, they've destroyed this whole section right here. And there's no ears on any of these right here. So, I could put a trap right here. But for now, I'm going to start on the border and work my way in. Man, they hammered it. There's a good chance this, this guy right here will produce tonight. Your only problem with this is they're already, you gotta entice them in a place where they've already got what they're coming for. So we'll see how it goes. I really don't wanna use foot traps here. There's lots of cats. I'm close to the house. It's just right over there, so should work. I got this guy on a cable. I didn't know what I was coming to. I was hoping there'd be a fence or something that I could hook to, but obviously you do not want to hook to this fence. So this is what I got. It's going to be a fun one, I think. Should be interesting. Now they won't come every night, so it might take a couple days to get a, get a coon, so we'll see. They might come every night though, but typically they just come like in rounds, kind of like a bobcat does. What's up everyone? Out at the uh, sweet corn patch, Coyote Creek, and I see some dancing around. We got one.
Somebody got in the cookie jar. So far, I think that's the only one this round. Nobody over here. Still got bait in it. Rain last night, so. They're still set. That's one. Uh, he'll be happy with that, for sure. I'll keep them set out. The old troublemaker bandit right there. I'll get them, uh, everybody be like, why are you being so mean? And you just let them sit in the trap. It's just holding his paw, that's all. Be perfectly fine. So, all right, I'll get them taken care of and I'll show you guys the remake. Hey, if you guys notice, I got the traps like in the part where he tails it and that coon could just re reached right at the edge so he wasn't destroying the yard. You don't want to put the traps out there in the yard where they make a big circle. This is in the tilled area. Just kind of stay with, keep that in mind and if you put the trap there that fence is destroyed so stay away from stuff. Using a big marshmallow. Pierce the trigger. I did not bring the uh, Coon Glow from Dunlap's Coon Glow. I, I put it in all the other ones. So. I'm kind of limited at the moment because I'm driving a rental. <laughs> That's not a minivan. I made sure I did not get a minivan. I hit a deer, so, in the truck. But. That's the first check on the old sweet corn field. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. The landowner will be happy. So, we'll get him out of here. Come back in the morning. Stay tuned.